Hey, this is Matt from Three Pound Fishing for Grizzly Jig TV. And today we're talking about side imaging and pre-spawn crappie. How do we utilize our big, nice, beautiful units for pre-spawn crappie? Not the biggest one, but it's, it's gonna do. Good eater. Actually kind of review some of the settings that I have on SI. So I always start with 70 foot left, 70 foot right. That's a big, that's a big deal for me. That's, to me, that's the perfect number. Some people might go out there farther, but I'll tell you, the further you get out, the smaller the detail, and I think it's a lot harder to find the fish. So really, if you wanted to start off, you could start off at 40 foot, and I think that's actually a really good number to start with, and then as you get comfortable with it, stretch it out. But again, I never go longer, much longer than 80 foot, period. When you get your unit, all the settings, sensitivity, um, you go to this enhanced function right here, to the right, all of these are gonna be set, I think, roughly at 10. I like to keep them somewhere around that middle mark because if you're going anywhere else, I think there's more of an adjustment that needs to be made on your megahertz and, and your actual imaging sonar that needs to make the adjustment. Whether it's a muddy lake or a clear lake, you need to make that adjustment. If, if you're really jumping up your sensitivity, if you're really jumping up your contrast. So obviously I have mine set at 13 and 13 and that works really well for me. The next big thing for you is always going to be speed in which you're, you've got this set at. And I think mine is set at four. Let's just check that out. Actually it's set at five. So five right here. I like five, I feel comfortable with it. I know that if I'm running 3.5 miles an hour, that's usually the perfect speed for the best image that I can get. So. Let's see if we can catch some of these fish. We saw some right off this uh, shoreline here. Let's check it out. Um, again, they're kind of sporadic. So we're hoping to catch one, two, three, um, and then move on to another shore. There it is. That didn't take long. Wow, we're rocking. And we're catching fish. All right, we got one on. That was quick, folks. Didn't take long there. And again, it's just a, that's a good fish. Pre-spawn crappie found on side imaging. So we just simply went through this shoreline. We saw sporadic shadows, white marks. And there, that's your first, she got eggs. That's your first crop. SK always says, put it up close. So, good start, good start. So obviously during pre-spawn, we're gonna be scanning shallower water. And here we're basically at seven foot. And we're looking for a consistency with the shadows, just like I had said, and I'm pointing to some right here. I'm looking for those type of marks and how consistent they are away from the boat. So at this point, if we're 70 right, we're looking at roughly around 20 foot to the right. So I take note of that. I also mark something on the shore typically, and that kind of gives me the reference point where these fish are probably going to be at. So what I do is I circle back around, I go to that point on the shore, and bam, hopefully we're catching some fish. That's what, look, that's what fish look like, folks. That's what you're looking for. Consistency, maybe a little bit more, but regardless, that's a nice little pile. I'd probably swing around and I'd fish that. I've got a single minnow rig right here in a number four hook with a number seven split shot. And then I've got this split, um, slip float. So there's your uh, actual slip bead right there. Bobber stopper, as some, a lot of people will call it. And it's a really nice device where it allows me to throw all the way up to the weed edge, all the way up to whatever structure, and it drops straight down. Not the biggest one, but it's it's gonna do. Good eater. So a great place to start is always going to be points. And the reason why is because there's an elevation change from something around 15 up to three foot. And all, basically all points are gonna have this similar outline. And this is what you're gonna see right here on the side imaging. This is where we found those fish, folks. So I'm always looking at points, those are great starting points and here I'm pointing out some fish so we've identified some fish 
and now we're looking for some consistency and now I've started to see some consistency. They're roughly around 12, 10 foot off that shoreline and that's what we're gonna fish. There we go, that's what we want. That's a good fish. You gotta love springtime. These fish are going to have their tuxedos on, and this one does for sure. Oh, yeah, baby. Just another great, great fish. Check out that tuxedo. That's a good one right there. The other secret I always use my side imaging for, when I sit in the back of the boat, I use my Generation 2 unit, it really does find fish. I'm looking for shadows the entire time I'm back here. People think that you can't use side imaging when your boat is still, and absolutely you can. Uh, side imaging works, in my opinion, just as well that way as it does when you're moving. I'm able to see shadows, long white streaks. Those are fish. I wanted to talk just briefly about units that people get. Lawrence, Humminbird, Garmin. I think they're all fantastic. I choose Humminbird. Um, I've got a, a 10 inch and a nine inch Helix. I think they're fantastic. They work great. I think the actual interface between it and the person is a lot easier. That's my opinion. People are gonna have other opinions of it, but I think they're all great. I just choose Humminbird. Always get always get the biggest screen you can possibly get the biggest screen you can get even if it gets you a little out of your comfort range in terms of cost trust me it will be worth it i can't tell you how many times i've had people say i wish i would have gotten the nine i wish i would have gotten the seven um i wish i would have spent the extra 200 dollars. would have been worth it well folks this is what's going to happen if you get too small of a screen you're putting it out there on ebay and craigslist <laughs> And you're gonna lose money there that way. So get the screen that you want. It's so important and everybody says the same thing. So use those tactics tactics on side imaging for pre-spawn crappie, you'll put some slabs in the boat, guarantee it. These reels, these eagle claw reels, people have been asking me about them. They're really simple, $15, call Grizzly Jig, check them out, worth the, the reel, worth it totally. I think they're just fantastic for what I'm doing right here. Now on those 16 footers during the tournament videos, that Grizzly Elite reel is just fantastic, it's simple. Um, it, it's small and allows us to grab our fishing rods efficiency and, and nothing's getting in the way and again we're really just trying to hold on the line hold on the line on those rods anyway there we go that's what we want that's a good fish Gotta love springtime. These fish are gonna have their tuxedos on and this one does for sure. Oh yeah, baby. Just another great, great fish. Hey, thanks for watching. This is Matt from Three Pound Fishing for Grizzly Jig TV. Use that side imaging for pre-spawn crappie. Check out that tuxedo. That's a good one right there.